guys, it's Marissa, and today's video is going to be the Mean Girls of Middle School, and this is one of my, like, back to school videos that I'm having, and this is just basically a list of mean things that girls do. This could apply to like middle school or high school, so it could really apply to either, and I mean, hopefully y'all could relate. These are things that girl, <laughs> these are mean things girls did to me in middle school, so yours might be a little different, so let me know what yours are down below. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Whoosh. I'll put a little Harry Potter spell on you. Swish and flick subscribe, even though that's Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it. And I know you guys have been loving my Marissa Secret giveaway, so if it gets to 20,000 thumbs up, wait, was that even 20,000? No. So if this video gets to 20,000 thumbs ups, then I will pick a random comment down below to win these three color jolt Maybelline lippies in different colors and they're really really pretty um, so yeah give this video a thumbs up the only two rules for the giveaway are that you're subscribed and that you comment down below so I can pick your comment so on to the mean girls of middle school oh my god when girls that you thought were your friends spread rumors about you or even girls you didn't think were your friends like this one girl who was supposedly my best friend in middle school nikki mm -hmm, saying that she would she would like go around and tell everyone that i smelled and tell everyone that i had lice what was homegirl even talking about because none of those was true i showered i washed my hair so i don't know what she was talking about but like I would hear from like 10 different people that she would say those things and I was like you are such a mean girl you are not a good friend another mean thing girls do is when they pick on you for like not being as advanced as other girls like if you're late to get your period or if you you know don't have boobs yet and all the other girls do or like if you haven't kissed a boy yet and everyone else is bragging about how they have it's really like sad and mean when like that's something to be picked on for oh when popular girls who aren't your friends want to cheat off your test like i mean if it's like a good friend and you guys are just doing your homework together or something that's one thing but sometimes girls who like aren't even your friends will just ask you for answers to something and it's like i don't know you why would i like let you cheat off of work that took me like four hours so when someone's mean to you or bullies you or picks on you and no one, not even your friends, defend you or like stand up for you or have your back. And that just really sucks because it's like, none of y'all have my back. Why? What's the point? That's so mean. Ugh. I feel like I knew so many girls like this in middle school, but when girls act really really sweet and nice in front of adults like teachers or like the faculty administration or parents of other students but then they're like really mean to you like they'll be like oh my god hi marissa's mom it's so nice to see you and then when my mom would leave it'd be like Marissa, I hate you, you know? Is when they hang out on the weekend and they don't invite you and then they come to school on Monday and they're all like talking about like, oh my God, you guys, we had so much fun in the mall on Saturday. It was so much fun. Oh my God, did you see Eric there? He was so cute and like, you're just like, thanks for the invite. And they literally just talk about it in front of you. And these are people that you consider like your BFFs. When you get teased by other girls for something so stupid, like either not having the right phone or not having the right shoes or not having the right hair or like I've been teased about not having the right backpack or like once I left my tag on my shoes and I got like bullied for two days because I left the freaking tag on my shoes. I'm like, damn, what a way to like, what a thing to bully someone about leaving the tags on my shoes. So when it's lunchtime and all of the tables are full and like no one wants you to sit with them, no one makes room for you, like there's nowhere to sit and it's really awkward because you have to like go up and ask and everyone just like glares at you and gives you like the stink eye before they let you sit with them. So that's just kind of mean. So yeah, I don't want this video to depress you guys or make you guys feel sad, but these are just things that have happened to me. And honestly, I feel like the best thing you can do if like you're going through this, well, number one, you're not alone. So recognize that 
a lot of people go through this, Marissa included. And I feel like just shaking it off, doing what Taylor Swift says is the best way. And I will link how to survive middle school down below if you guys haven't seen that already. Just to kind of help with this stuff, there's a lot of like really good tips and stuff if you're in middle school and I've gotten a lot of requests for more middle school videos so definitely go watch that. So yeah, comment down below, can you guys relate to any of these like mean girl moments that I've experienced and what are some of your guys's? I'm sure like you guys probably have some different ones. Let me know about the mean girls at your middle school. And yeah, girls can be really mean sometimes, but like it's just important to not let it get to you in the long term. Or like if it messes up your day, if it makes your day bad, then just like know that tomorrow's gonna be much better. Block out the haters. I need my hater blocker sunglasses on. <laughs> People who bully others, I feel like always have really bad, miserable lives because think about it, like if you're having a good, fun, happy life, you don't come and bully other people. That's just not in your nature. So it's always just people who feel, you know, helpless and they just want to bring other people down. So just remember that, that if someone's bullying you, their life is probably bad and that's probably why they're doing it. So thank you guys for watching the Mean Girls of Middle School. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and also for the giveaway and subscribe if you're not already and hopefully we can get this video to 20,000 likes so that I can pick a random comment and send them some lippies and I love you guys so much you can follow me on Instagram or Snapchat at Miss Marissa Rachel and bye guys